Good morning everybody. Welcome back to another day. So uh, today the agenda is we are going to be cutting sorry I got a couple things I was going to say but I got this log here. It's just an oak log. So nothing special about it at all. Um, just a black, I call it a black oak log. It's kind of a red oak ish junk. A junky red oak log. Um, but all I'm going to be doing is cutting it into stickers and like stickers or these things up here just in between the boards you guys can see just to space out the lumber so everything can dry out so some people get all super fancy about their stickers and this and that I don't this log we've had it for probably three almost three years I we went I had a job where we got a ton of oak logs from and we still have some of them left. I just don't cut a whole lot of oak. We have a whole bunch of oak over there. Anyways, I'm not going to get into too much. Because I'll go on a rant and no one wants to listen to me for 10 minutes talking. Anyways, we're going to be using those stickers that we get from that log to sticker up this walnut lumber we just cut. Let me flip just you around. We cut this walnut lumber. We cut this first little batch over here yesterday. And then we cut this other little bit this morning. This is my lumber. Um, my logs. I'm trying to get things cleaned up and I have to get some of these logs cut to get stuff out of the way to make room. But yeah, that's some really beautiful lumber. It's kind of all dusty, but can't see much. But anyways, I got quite a few of it. This is all inch and a quarter thick and then they're just random widths, random lengths. I just left them what they were at to get the most out of it. This is what I'm trying to get cleaned up. We have this whole back area was completely filled up with all that one we just looked at with the stickers. All that was all back here. So this whole area, this whole area back here was all logs stacked up really, really high. With all, there's some oak and mostly it was all walnut, but um, we're down to the very last bit finally and I'm gonna kind of regrade this get it all leveled off so it drains right and everything and then I'm probably going to stack like some oak lumber and then walnut and stuff like that that we just don't have room for in the shed unfortunately but these are some big logs so these are the logs that are very very large um, there's got, there's two smaller ones up here I'm gonna be cutting on the sawmill but they're still very large diameter, but they are short. But like this log here, I mean, that's one log. This is all one log. Um, have to cut it on the chainsaw. It's probably almost some spots is well over 40 inches. This oak log is giant. I actually have a video. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, it's unloading this or something like that. It's from probably two years ago. Maybe longer, but this video or this I still have that log. Been waiting, been waiting to cut it. Haven't had the motivation to mess with it, but I am going to be cutting all this stuff. Unfortunately, all with the chainsaw mill, but we're gonna make it happen. Uh, it's all mostly it's all walnut besides this one here, and this one here I've probably had for over well over three years. It was one of the first logs I cut with chainsaw mill, and there was a big giant cable in it, so. That never got finished, but it's a very big log. Anyways, then we got a bunch of little bitty walnut back here. We'll probably end up cutting again. I forgot I even had. And then probably make turning blanks with the small stuff. And then we got this big oak log. I'm gonna slab it. And then I don't know. There's some crazy oak logs over here. This is all the same tree actually, from one of our relatives. This was the butt log, and then this log, just a crazy log with all them branches, and that was the very top. I just took it all to get rid of it for him. And we got a few more walnut logs left to cut, but, but yeah, trying to get this area cleaned up back here so we can stack some lumber. We got a bunch of 1x6 oak cut that I would like to get stacked up over here. While I'm talking, I might as well just show you what I'm, show the lumber that I'm talking about here and kind of my future plans so this is all the oak lumber got a whole bunch of it here 
Well, there's actually some hickory mixed in as well. Um, but yes, there's a quite large amount of it. As you can see, it's all one by sixes. We've had this. I mostly cut all this. I might have even talked about this before in a video, but we cut it all with LT35. I'm pretty sure. Besides, probably just two bundles. I would say we cut with the LT70. But so we've had this for probably two years ish as well. I want to get all that moved over there, and then. Why I want to move it is because, it's the third time I've moved that by the way, I want to get a sawdust chute, or sawdust blower set up on the sawmill, so that instead of just blowing it out the side of the building, I want to be able to make a, like a bin area over here, get this cleaned up and kind of make a bin area, so then, I don't know exact if you guys have any ideas or have any more experience with it, but coming out of the top and kind of just shooting it down and having like a bin area because we do sell the sawdust and having it right here by the road easy to get to and load would be super awesome. And uh, yeah, now that I have a little bit of extra time, I'm trying to make some things work a little more efficiently. So yeah, that's what we're going to do. So uh, let's get this log cut up what I'm going to do is cut three quarter by three quarter inch thick stickers and then sticker up this lumber so uh, yeah that's what we're gonna work on today so let's get to it cut here got a nice stack of them um, cutting these it makes it super simple so everything comes out exactly uh, exactly right so you guys can see when I was cutting I squared it up and when I'm squaring it up to the width side I can set it as it as if I'm cutting that's probably not gonna make any sense because you guys don't know this computer but this computer on this sawmill is so awesome so I can set it 
like I'm cutting three quarter inch thick boards on the width side and the height side if that makes any sense so that when I'm I can go through and have the log I can square it up so then on my third cut let's just say I have it set for cutting three quarter inch boards all the way down and then when I flip it again and then I, so on my fourth side when it's completely squared I cut three quarter inch boards all the way down and then I'll flip it back up and then I can cut three quarter inch boards all the way down again so then I get these three quarter by three quarter inch stickers all the way down to the very last one if that makes any sense probably not but all I'm getting at is a computer on this thing if you do your calculations are well, the calculations are very easy everything is pre-programmed in there all you have to do is press a button so that's what I was doing anyways ranting again but anyways got those cut now we're gonna get these boards stacked up All right, so we got everything stacked up, stacked and stickered. All turned out good. Yeah, there she is. Everything went good. We just have it sitting outside here for now. Got to cut some other stuff tomorrow. We got back to cedar orders tomorrow and probably the next day. And then we'll see how it goes. I'd like to get some of that other stuff I was showing you cut up. And I want to get all that smoothed out. And then start bringing some lumber back there. So probably sit there for a few days. And then uh, we'll get it moved to its final rest spot for a little while. For a year or so. Until we start selling it and using it. So yeah, thank you guys for watching today. A lot of talking and everything else. But uh try to explain some things a little bit better to you. So you know what I'm doing. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching. And we'll see you on the next one.